Welcome back now, Team South Africa, who proudly flew the flag. This at the Commonwealth Games in Australia early this month finally got their day in the sun in sunny South Africa. The team bagged 37 medals in, gold, in the Gold Coast Games, and while well, the achievements were celebrated in an open bus parade through the streets of Pretoria today. Autographs and selfies were the order of the day as fans got a chance to interact with the stars of the Gold Coast on the streets of the capital. Team South Africa finished the Games in sixth place on the medals table with 13 gold medals. Coming in here and experiencing it firsthand and taking selfies, signing autographs, that's what it's all about. So a big thank you to everyone who came out today and, and, and for the loving support we've had over the last couple of weeks. So it was different, like I'm also in Pretoria, but I never really go to that side. So it's cool to see all those hundreds of people actually like supporting you. And I mean, they love Casa Semenya, so yeah. <laughs> The newly appointed Minister of Sport, Tokozi Lekasa, also joined in on the fanfare and celebrated the successes from the first major event on her watch. We made it a token of uh, appreciation by taking them to communities so that communities themselves can celebrate them, can celebrate their heroes. So it was quite a proud moment because we, we didn't just want it to end in boardrooms. It must be taken out there to inspire young people, to give hope to our young people, to also tell them, you know, yeah, this is possible, it can happen. And, and, and you could see from how they were welcomed throughout the streets of Pretoria and we are so proud of them. For the South African Sports Confederation and Olympic Committee, the athletes' performances at the Commonwealth Games is seen as a barometer for future events and the next big date on their calendar is the 2020 Olympic Games in Tokyo. Plans are already afoot and Saskok believes that 15 medals in Tokyo is a realistic figure. It is a bit of a tough one. It's, um, it can be done with proper support to our athletes and our coaches and actually making sure that everyone focuses on Tokyo 2020 because most of the athletes still have to work. So that is something that we'll obviously have to look at in terms of when we do our support through Operation Excellence and other additional support that we need to give in preparation for Tokyo 2020. We able to actually make sure that these are the athletes that can deliver and this is the support that they require. The athletes and coaches who helped bring back silverware were also presented with their incentives with Chad Leclerc earning the most more than 170,000 rand for his five medals from the pool. Samantha Mari, SABC News, Pretoria.